In Call of Duty 4, there's a glitch to do with swapping guns. So when you press 1 to swap to your pistol, you can press it again and swap to your primary again. If you tap it very quickly, it creates an odd animation, which can be used advantageously for certain things like reloading. So by default, the weapon cycle delay value is 0. If you keep it at 0, and you press 1, press it again quickly. How it can be used is when you see a gun on the ground, you sprint over to get it, you pick it up, it takes a few seconds to before you can start shooting. If you double tap the cycle delay, you can actually cancel and start shooting faster from pickups. When you're sprinting and the time between when you start shooting, you can decrease the time from raising your gun from that sprinting animation. Also with sniper rifles, you can almost shoot the entire five bullets before they've shot one. Almost. It really, really reduces those rechambering animations. The other thing you can do to nothing to do with the weapon cycle delay, sprint. When you reload, you just about to put the magazine back in the gun, sprint quickly. That actually cancels that animation. It really doesn't save a lot of time overall, but it's a little bit of time. With shotguns, you can also decrease the time between shots, so effectively shooting more rounds. So basically what this weapon cycle delay is, it's cancelling and interrupting the animations of reload. That's all it's doing. You can bind it to your scroll wheel. Or you can go another step, you can actually bind that to like a nut like two on your keyboard. Just bind weapon cycle, uh, weight two in the weapon web cycle. People don't like the binds, it's no different to having a scroll wheel. It's, I don't think if you're going to be using it, a bind over a scroll wheel does not matter. It's the same amount of time. So, uh, there's no skill involved in scrolling a wheel. Is it a glitch? Yep, definitely is, like a lot of things in the game. Is it detrimental? I don't think so. Unless you're playing like a bolts and knives, where people don't know that. Uh, competitive play, they enabled it for a lot of time because they could not effectively ban it so they were like okay let's just have everyone a fair playing field and everyone can use it they have worked out they set the weapon cycle to lay 700 it does cancel it and so no longer allowed in pro play of cod 4 all right thanks for watching have a good day see ya